Welcome viewers, in this video we will see the magnetic circuit and the basic definition of the magnetic circuit. First we will see the magnetic circuit. Consider this is the core is available, iron core is available over which the coil is winded with n number of turns. The coil is winded on one side, n number of turns are available. When the coil is energized with the voltage, the current is flowing through the coil. Due to rate of change of flux, due to rate of change of current, flux is produced in the coil. So that flux is following this, this closed path, this following through the core. The core is now, this is the square, square shape mean, the flux also following in a square form. That is A, B, C, D, A. It is following the path A, B, C, D, A. So this closed path is nothing but a magnetic circuit. This is the flux, the closed path is nothing but a magnetic circuit. So we have iron core is available over which coil is winded. When the coil is given with the supply, current is flowing. Due to rate of change of current, flux is produced in the coil. That flux is flows, follow the closed path ABCDA through the iron core. This closed path ABCDA is, is nothing but a magnetic circuit. So that is given here. Consider a coil, n number of turns, winded on the iron core as shown in the diagram. When current is passing through the coil, magnetic flux is produced in the coil. The flux follows the closed path ABCDA, hence the ABCDA is nothing but a magnetic circuit. We will see some more details in that. The moment of charge carriers constitute the current. When the voltage is given due to the charge, due to the movement of the charge, the current is flowing. The current flows in the conductor if it forms the closed path. When a current flows in a conductor, it will produce the own flux. The closed path followed by the magnetic flux is called a magnetic circuit, that is ABCDA. In a magnetic circuit, the magnetic flux of lines leaves from north pole and pass through the entire circuit and return to the starting point right is a closed path magnetic circuit also a closed path it leave from the north pole a magnetic circuit usually consists of magnetic material having high permeability such as iron soft steel because these material offer very small opposition to the flow of magnetic flux right so the magnetic material with high permeabilities are normally used such as iron or soft steel because it offers the very small opposition to the flow of magnetic flux. So this is nothing but a magnetic circuit. Now we will go to the definition. The definition of magnetic quantities, the first one is magnetic flux, the symbol is pi. So the magnetic flux is nothing that the magnetic lines of force produced by a magnet is called a magnetic flux. So the dotted line available in the diagram is nothing but a magnetic flux. We assume that the flux is flowing through the core that is the A, B, C, D, A, right. So the magnetic lines of force produced by the magnet is nothing but a magnetic flux. If the symbol is pi, the unit is Weber. Then magnetic flux density. Density means it is divided by area, right. So the magnetic flux density is the flux per unit area at right angle to the flux. The density normally refer either area, length or volume, here we are referring with the volume. So what is the flux available for a given area is nothing but flux density. The symbol is B. So the unit is Weber per meter square because pi by A is there, so Weber per meter square this magnetic flux should be at right angle to the flux. Then we will go to the magnetomotive force MMF, magnetomotive force MMF. So what is the MMF? It is the cause for producing the flux in the magnetic circuit. So this is the source for producing the magnetic flux in the magnetic circuit, magnetomotive force. So this is nothing but obtained as a product of current flowing through the coil and n number of turns, mm of equal to n into i, right. So the mm of is the cause producing for flux, the, it is a source for producing flux in a magnetic circuit, it is given by number of turns into current. 
how many turns available and what is the current flowing. These two parameters will determine the magnetomotive force. So, the unit is N in time means ampere turns. I is ampere, N is turns, ampere turns. Then we will go to the magnetic field intensity or magnetizing force, intensity. Again, we have intensity is there. So, the already we discussed density here, intensity. It is defined as mm of per unit length. Here we are dividing by length. Length of the magnetic flux path. Right. So, the, magneto, the magnetic field intensity is nothing but mm of per unit length of the magnetic flux path. That is Ni divided by L. What is the magnetomotive force for a given length? So, the ampere turns per meter is the unit. The symbol is H. So, it will, it will determine what is the magnetomotive force available for a given length. So, that it is a measure of ability of the magnetizing body to produce magnetic induction in other magnetic substance. So, it will measure the ability of the magnetizing body. How this magnetic circuit will produce the flux in the flux linkage with the other magnetic substance. So, this is a intensity. What is the intensity? How, how far they said has the intensity to link with the other magnetizing substance that is given by magnetic field intensity or magnetizing force. Next one is the reluctance. So, it is the opposition that the magnetic circuit offer for a flow of magnetic flux. So, it is very similar to resistance. Resistance will oppose the flow of current. So, this reluctance is oppose the flow of flux. So, this reluctance is very similar to resistance in the electric circuit. So, it is given by it is a ratio of mm of to the flux n i divided by pi mm of divided by flux. So, the symbol is s the formula is n i divided by pi right. So, the reluctance mean it is very similar to resistance it offers the uh, offers the flow of magnetic flux. It will oppose the flow of magnetic flux. It is given by N i divided by pi. Then we will go to the permeance. So, permeance is the reciprocal of reluctance. That is, it is the readiness which magnetic flux is developed. It is reciprocal. Reluctance means it will oppose the flow of flux, but this permeance means reciprocal. So, that readiness, it is the source for producing the magnetic flux. It will allow the magnetic circuit to produce the magnetic flux. So, the permeance is equal to 1 divided by reluctance. Then we will go to the one more parameter permeability. It is a measure of the resistance of a material against the formation of the magnetic field. So, this is one of the parameter that will determine the resistance of a magnetic material in order to form the magnetic field. In simple words, the permeability of the material means conductivity for magnetic flux. Conductivity, it will determine what, uh, what about the resistance available, what is the conductivity of that material. It will determine this parameter. So, we can obtain from this the magnetic flux density B is proportional to the magnetizing force. B is directly proportional to H. The magnetic flux intensity is directly proportional to magnetic field intensity. So, while equating we introduce this constant permeability B equal to mu H. This permeability this constant is introduced while equating this equation B equal to mu H. So, that it will determine what is the resistance or what is the conductivity of a material. So, from this above equation we can write mu equal to B divided by H. Mu can be calculated from formula B divided by H. That mu is having two terms are available. Mu equal to mu naught into mu R. Mu naught means absolute permeability. Mu R means relative permeability. Now, we will see what is mean by absolute permeability and what is mean by relative permeability. The absolute permeability of a vacuum or free space. Absolute means it is a free space, it is a constant 4 pi into 10 to the power minus 7. So, the absolute means it is a vacuum, it refers the vacuum or free space that value is constant 4 pi into 10 to the power minus 7. Now, we will go to the 
relative permeability relative permeability of a medium or material is defined as the ratio of flux density produced in that medium or material to flux density produced in vacuum by the same magnetizing force so it is it is refer the it is depends upon the medium or material so we are measuring what is the magnetic flux density in that medium divided by magnetic flux density in a vacuum for a same magnetizing force so it is we are measuring the ability of that medium with reference to the vacuum so this is will be differ by differ for a material this is given by the manufacturer for iron steel means the constant value will be there so it will measure the ratio of flux density of that medium or material with respect to the vacuum while passing the same magnetizing force so in this video we discuss about the what is magnetic circuit what is a magnetic path and basic definition of the magnetic circuit thank you